Hello YouTube, it's Detroit Borg and today we're going to try connecting the iPad to the Ford Sync system in a 2009 Mercury Mariner. We have the navigation head unit here and we have a 3G iPad right here. Now there are two ways to connect to a Sync system. You can use a USB cable to connect directly to the device. That way Sync can index all the songs and content on the iPad or iPhone or iPod and this allows you to use the voice activated system to call up a song by name, artist, album, genre, etc. The other option is to use Bluetooth streaming or A2DP. And all you'll need to do is pair this iPad to the Bluetooth in the car. Unfortunately, the USB doesn't work with the iPad and I'll show you what happens, but it appears to be an unsupported device at this time, at least in the firmware I'm using on this car. So let's go ahead and connect it. Already see that this accessory is not supported by iPad. So let's go to the head unit and try and select the USB option. So I see source, USB, and initializing on the screen. So after a period of time it does come up with a message that says unsupported device and nothing happens. So the only option I have in this car is to go to Bluetooth devices and add a device. Search for Sync on your device and enter the pass key provided by Sync. So Sync's instructing me to go to my device and I'm going to go to General, Bluetooth, make sure it's turned on and it sees devices Sync not paired. So let's go ahead and select Sync. Now I have a number so let's go ahead and type that in. Okay, I see sync connected. For your safety, please stay alert to changing road conditions and use sync's voice activated features while your vehicle is in motion. So now I see Michael's iPad 3G and the, and the uh, logo in the corner is an iPod. So now that I have the iPad paired, all I have to do is call up Bluetooth audio. Please say a command. Bluetooth audio. Bluetooth audio, please say a command. Play. Resume playing. Now unfortunately because Bluetooth audio on the iPad is restricted to just streaming audio, I can't control the device from the Bluetooth, but what I can do is control the iPod or any other audio device or any other app that uses audio and play back. So let's go to one of my podcasts. Let's go to MacBreak Weekly. About taking the exception out of play, the exception for getting a warrant. So um, there we go. I think it applies. But this might bolster John's argument that, well, there was a crime committed here, so... So, that, the, the, audio, well, so the audio is very good quality. Nobody, nobody's been charged with a crime. I do have to use the iPad to control it, unfortunately. So, of course, if you're using Bluetooth audio, you don't have to use an iPod to get audio. You can do other things like Pandora. So let's bring up the Pandora app. In fact, you can even hear the typing on the stereo. So you can have Pandora in your car through your iPad, uh, and if you have a 3G iPad like this, is you can travel around connected to Pandora. Of course, this also works on things like the iPhone. So once again, this Detroit Borg showing you how to connect an iPad to a Ford Sync system. Thanks for watching.